we can't evaluate this limit directly by substitution. If we were to try plugging in x equals negative 3, we would get negative 3 squared, which is 9, plus negative 3 minus 6, divided by negative 3 plus 3, that's 0. And of course, if you do the arithmetic here in the numerator, it ends up being 0 over 0. This is indeterminate. It doesn't tell us anything about the limit. So to evaluate the limit, we need to use a different strategy. If you have a limit like this, which can't be evaluated by substitution, it's worth considering factoring any polynomials. In this case, the numerator is a polynomial that we might be able to factor. So let's try factoring factoring, and what we'll see is we're going to be able to cancel out the denominator and thus eliminate the problem with plugging in negative 3. You need to remember how to factor quadratics. We can factor it like this because 3 and negative 2 multiply to negative 6, and 3 and negative 2 add to positive 1, the coefficient of that middle term. So that's the factorization, and once we see that, Notice that we can cancel the x plus 3 with the x plus 3. We have an x plus 3 in the numerator and denominator. Those cancel out and just leave behind x minus 2. Thus, our original limit is the same as the limit of x minus 2 as x approaches negative 3. And now we can just plug in x equals negative 3. Negative 3 minus 2 is negative 5, and that is the value of the limit.